this lesson, I'm going to show you some differences between rounding and formatting cells in Excel. I typed in some arbitrary number here. I named this cell A, which I showed you how to do in a previous lesson. I'm going to compare rounding with formatting cells. Let's do the rounding first. Excel has a function called round, so we type equal round parentheses. The number that I want to round is A. I could type A since I named that cell A. And then the number of digits I'm going to set as this number to the left, end parentheses. I'm going to fill this down for all of these number of digits, ranging from negative 4 to 5. I fill it down by dragging this little box. So all of these cells are rounding A to the cell to the left. When num digits is 0, this gives you the nearest integer. When num digits is 1, it rounds to the first decimal place to the right. Since there's two zeros here, it just shows it as 503. It doesn't actually show you that 0. So when the format is general, Excel does not show trailing zeros. As we increase num digits, it shows us more decimal places. When you round this number to the second decimal place, you get 0.01 here. The next one is 0.009. Excel rounds up when there's a 5 at the end. So this one's 0086. And then finally, when I have five digits, it's everything to the right. When num digits is negative, it goes the other way. So this is rounding to the nearest 10, which is 500. This one to the nearest 100, which is 500, to the nearest 1,000, which is 1,000, since this is bigger than 500. Finally, when num digits is negative 4, it rounds to the nearest 10,000. That's 0 when you round. Now let's compare this with formatting the cells. In this case, I'm going to just type equal A in this cell. And then I'm going to fill that down by double clicking on that little square. So all of these are just equal A. I can format the cells by right click, Format Cells, Number. The default is general, but if I click on Number, it allows me to enter the number of decimal places, which I'm going to always make the value to the left. So this, this one I'm working on is 0. Well, that displays it to the nearest integer. I'll do the same thing here. Format cells, number, and set it to 1. OK. Well, that displays the first digit to the right. You can continue this with more digits to the right. Now let's do the negative values. Right click, format cells, number. Down, it doesn't go below 0. And if I type in negative 1, Excel barfs. It tells me it has to be an integer. Well, negative 1 is an integer, but Excel can't do this. The same thing happens for any negative number. I'm just going to type does not work for those cases. So we notice some differences between rounding and formatting. The most obvious one is that negative decimal places doesn't work with formatting, but negative number of digits works with rounding. There are some other subtle differences in how it displays. I showed you that when rounding, it does not display the trailing zeros, whereas when you format, it always displays displays the number of decimal places that you specified. But the rounding it does is the same. So on the surface, it does not look like there's much of a difference. But it turns out there's a huge difference if you use any of these numbers. Let me highlight these rounded numbers, right click, copy, and then I want to paste them here. But I'm going to paste special. You click on paste special, I'm going to paste just the values, which is the number without any formatting. So if I right click and format cells, you see it's still general. And I'm going to leave it that way. Well, notice that these numbers are all identical to the ones to the left of them. Nothing changed at all. The value of A has actually changed when you round it. For example, if I just go down here and say equal this cell, it's a thousand. It's not the original number. What about formatting? You can also control C to copy. And now let's paste them here. Right click, paste. I'm going to go to this little arrow and go down to paste values here. That's a different way of doing it. Notice that these are all exactly the same as A. Why is that? Well, that's because these are all equal to A. You can see up here. When we format it, all we did was change how it looks. We changed the format of the display, but we haven't changed the number. So if I go down here and type in equal one of these cells, it's the same value as my original one. If I change A, it'll change all these numbers accordingly. Let's type equal 500 plus pi, which you can use Excel's built-in pi function, pi 
open and close parentheses. So it's 503.14159, etc. Pi is an irrational number, so there's an infinite number of digits. Well, the rounding here is as we expect, and the formatting is also as we expect. In this case, there's really no difference at all in how it's displayed. But again, when you copy and paste, we will see some differences. These are still our previous values, so I copy again and paste values and do the same here. Copy, paste special values. Okay, again, the main difference between formatting and rounding is that formatting does not change the number at all, whereas rounding changes the number. So if you use one of these cells as A in a follow-up calculation, you would lose some accuracy because you've rounded A, whereas if you use one of these, you're using exactly the same number as A. So that's the main difference between rounding and formatting in Excel. This helps. Thank you for watching this video. Check out my YouTube channel for more videos.